Here's a tip cup. Thank you. Enjoy your tits. <laughs> Here's a tick. I'm like, with the blood. No, tits. Cute little titties. Oh my god. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is filming. Can you show me what it looks like when I'm sitting like this? You don't show. Okay. All right. Oh. oh, this is going. This we, is what a katatsu is. What have we done? We gave him the master seat. Oh my that. goodness. Okay. Okay, so we're filming. We're filming. It's okay. just filming. Just go cool. into it when you want to go uh, to. What do we call this again? What do you call this? <laughs> oh, was it Yugiri's cos post the cosplay mukbang or something? Mm -hmm. I don't think I have a name for this. <laughs> but today we just have. Basically junk food. <laughs> yep, just junk food. We'll do a little bit of gacha on the way. Alright, should we start off with the cheers and start talking oh, about shit. stuff? <laughs> we were just drinking. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Three, two, two one. one. Right. Cheers. Kanpai. Kanpai. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ikebukuro. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> How was it? No. It was interesting. I guess it was like the our first or my first big cosplay event mm. in okay. Japan. Mm. I don't know, there's some, a lot of things that are like the same as a big event in the US and then some that are like the, like a bit different. Mm. So what does it, what's like the structure back home for you? So the structure, I think American cons, the big ones, they're everything con. So you oh. have cosplay, you have uh, vendors, you have yes, talent. Mm -hmm. Artist Alley, mm -hmm. everything. Right, yeah. So same here, like, mm -hmm. I remember my cons at home. Mm -hmm. It would just be a big bulk con, and people would come and cosplay. And some events, mm -hmm. there were like some little sections where people would go up and, you know, like, have like a tutorial, blah, 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 mm -hmm. or there'd be a panel, or, you know, you have a competition. But it's no way like this mm -hmm. one. This one was totally different than what we were used to. Why mm -hmm. would you say is the thing that struck you the most? of like, really different from what you're used to. Mm -hmm. So what's different? Maybe we should talk about, yeah, we'll talk about how it is overall and then we can lead into that. So mm, okay. what, what was the structure of this one? It's mainly a cosplay convention. And what's interesting is, so they do have the Sunshine City is basically a mall. In US, it's more you would rent out a convention center and then depending how big it is. And the, everything comes to the convention center and makes the event. Mm -mm. Now, Ikebukuro, I don't know how other Japanese cosplay conventions do. Well, we did Toyama as well. Mm, so that's right. what happens, we'll talk about that one later, a different mukbang. <laughs> but basically they more, they block off like a part of the city or the town. So Ikebukuro, they basically blocked off uh, Otome Road, which is basically Fujo Trash Road. <laughs> and, the, um, and that part of the city, because it has all the like, uh, cosplay stores, uh, like if you want wigs, if you want costumes, um, nerd stores like Anime is there, mm. um, Hako Stadium is there, stuff like that, and like little butler cafe. So basically all the nerdy stuff, they blocked off. <laughs> and I mean, pedestrians, like people who aren't part mm -hmm. of it can still be in the city, but if you're like a member, you have your membership bag, that your, your, which is your ticket to mm. everything, you might get like discounts. And they'll let you come in. You can basically cosplay in that part of the city. Yeah. But you cannot leave the boundary. Yeah. Mm. So it's not so much like a convention convention, mm -hmm. but more like a event. Okay. okay. So mm -hmm. you imagine like a like a car meetup, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Or like a, a, a carnival. Mm. But in this case, people come to explicitly cosplay. And they have specific mm. events. And I'm like, because mm -hmm. if, if this were back home in my country... I don't think it would have worked, mm -hmm. just based on how many cosplayers and how many people who look at that event and don't think it's like a serious cosplay event, because mm -hmm. I think the thing about this event, Ikebukuro, mm -hmm. is that it felt, <clears throat> from the outside, it felt so serious, but people going to the events, it was like cosplays from all levels, like mm -hmm. amateur to professional, mm -hmm. people just <clears throat> dressing up in um, just like ratchet shit, mm -hmm. and I'm like... This is incredible. This is like an actual, it feels like an actual generic hobby instead of a hobby that's inherently tied to anime okay. or like a specific culture or a TV show. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. At least that's how I felt. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point, actually. So <coughs> I feel like conventions in the US, and it sounds like in Australia, mm -hmm, yeah. um, 
And sorry, guys, we don't have the Spanish experience. Sorry. <laughs> um, they said, not only is it everything come, but also I feel the focus isn't so much non the activity, you know, like regardless if you're an artist or if you're a cosplayer, yeah. but or a vendor or something like that. It's more about the topic. Yeah. So then be like, this is anime and you have to take anime very That's seriously. Right. That's right. This is gaming, like um, E3, which is like, E3's gone. R.I.P. Mm. Yeah. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. R.I.P. <laughs> yeah. It would be more about the topic is the focus. Mm. And then everyone like congregates to like, you want to sell, you want to cosplay. And then in Japan at least, uh, it would be focus is on the activity. Yeah. It's the dress up itself. Yeah. Actually, before we keep going, so what did we cosplay as? What, did, what was your cosplay? So I cosplayed Alucard from Castlevania. The Japanese know it as Akumajo Dracula, Castlevania. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A Nintendo property. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and my one was um, <laughs> Porco, Kurenai no Buta. Mm -hmm. oh, what's the line again? Fascist Toyori. Buta no Hoga Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was yeah, our cosplays, and um, you were you were there for both days, mm -hmm. and I was there supporting you. I dressed up on the first day, and the second day I was just going around. You're dead. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's uh, talk and about the reason why we want to talk about lines. So, so that's a universal thing too across, I think, uh, international lines mm -hmm. is that convention lines are butt long mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this was day one we we um try we tried to go early so we went early but we're still late yeah okay so we got there, there at 8 a.m right because we were trying to, i was it like Make the parade yeah I think. the parade was um it's they claimed the line start at 8 a.m right yeah um, That's we, a lie, folks. That's yeah, a lie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we went at 8 a.m. and the tickets were sold out. So no parade for us. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And uh, not only that, the actual like cosplay line, like to get into the dressing rooms. Mm -hmm. and Or actually, no, just to register. It, be, because, okay, so cosplay, they're not really conventions. They're called Matsuri. So they're cosplay festivals. That's mm -hmm. what they're called. That's a good Japan. way to say it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we should, yeah, we should call them cosplay Matsuri or cosplay festivals. No matter how big they are, they are Matsuri. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you basically how you go to these events is you have to register either as a photographer or a cosplayer mm. and then sometimes the ticket price is different but the, regardless the tickets are different you go into your line you register and then cosplayers have the additional you need to go to the changing room because you do not walk into an event and cosplay you do not cosplay outside which is so weird event. right mm -hmm. like how in your country, when there's like an anime convention, yeah. a convention, yeah, do yeah. people just turn up in cosplay? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm used to that. Like, I, I've obviously gone to anime conventions. That's when I've seen cosplay, basically. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's like you're on the queue waiting to get in, and you, the people in cosplay yeah. are already. And people cosplay. just catch the train or catch the bus and go yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. So when you're going, you can see a long line of people, and between those, you can see people in cosplay, yeah. and it's fine. But how is it different here in, um, here in Japan? So. Mm, you just do not, because cosplay can be seen as like a public disturbance. Okay. So, <laughs> you can only cosplay within the boundaries of the event. So that's why they have to close off like parts of this. So I, yeah, I shouldn't say they close off. They sort of um, mark off where the cosplayers can roll. Right, right, I should right. say that. Isn't that a bit weird? Like, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's not close to the public. The public can still, if oh, it's yeah. normally in the public. Uh, yeah, I should say like, it's a, it's marked off. So yeah. it's more like, no, yeah, not so much close off, but the cosplayers are corralled in. Yeah. yeah. So like, what well, is... I, I feel like yeah. more like, do you have a place you can roam there? Like, okay, it's fine if you're around mm -hmm. here being a weirdo, but I'm sort of here, please don't. It's like a big game yeah. of, it's like a big game of hide and seek, and these are the areas that people can or, play. Or a big game of Where's Waldo. Yeah. <laughs> like, Where's Waldo live? Let's go. <laughs> We've and, found some Waldos, right? Do we? Any Waldos? We saw it? I think I saw a Waldo, but I didn't chase it down. I remember <laughs> I remember seeing a Waldo locally, like at the local cosplay thing, which that's like a whole different thing. But yeah, I don't think we saw many in like Tokyo. Like local here? Yeah, local here. No, there is a Waldo, because last year I saw the... It was a girl Waldo or boy Waldo? It was, these are like guy Waldos. Okay, I had a girl Waldo. Oh, okay. There's yeah. Waldos here. Mm. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. Um, they're called Wally in my country. Where's Wally? Yeah, yeah, I think, <laughs> it's, I think it's, yeah, I think it's Wally too. Yeah, so... But not Ujibuka. 
if you prefer, there's another trend I saw about cosplay. But first, let's talk about like the finish up our mm-hmm, thing about mm-hmm, 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 yeah. um, cultural differences, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, you register. So cosplay events in Japan, they generally have dressing rooms. It's very... I haven't seen an event that does not have dressing. Because they'll say in the rules, like, you should not be turning up in cosplay. Yeah. I don't know if that's for the benefit of the foreign people, but it's all in Japanese, so it's not mm-hmm. like they can read. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In the U.S., I would say, technically, you can cosplay whenever. Now, if the police tell you to leave or give you the walk of shame, that's, like, <laughs> on you. Mm-hmm. Um... <laughs> No, it happened in one event where they're like, okay, we're going to like hang out at Navy Pier. And then the cops are like, no, you're not anymore. It's canceled. And then like they have mm-hmm. to like walk out and cosplay and people are like laughing at them or something. I don't like some weird thing was going on there. Mm-hmm. But the thing is like nothing's prohibiting you from dressing how you are dressed. Yeah. Yeah. I think, city, I think yeah. in Spain, like if you saw someone mm-hmm. like you can see people like mm-hmm. with dress differently or mm-hmm. doing cosplay or whatever. Yeah. Yes, yeah. everywhere, That's like and, the whole and, thing, and, right? and it's fine, and it doesn't happen anything. Like, of course, you're gonna get looks. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Just like that. Mm-hmm. But n- I don't think no one's gonna like mm-hmm. tell you to get out, mm-hmm. unless obviously it's like yeah. you're uh, indecent or something. But so if you're in a normal cosplay, it shouldn't happen now. So leading into the cultural difference, into our first fuck up, <laughs> our first fuck up. What was the first fuck up? You get it. Being late. Being late, but what else? What else? I, I'm thinking like booking the ticket. Also being late. Yeah, that too. <laughs> So, so um, you need to buy, well, let's see, I'm trying to remember in the US, yeah, okay, you, you know, like, so you have to buy your event ticket, obviously, yep. um, nowadays, we have internet, you can do that online, and the, um, trying to see. figure out the, so, the, so f- the event was in October, because it's Hall- Ike Hollow, so Ike, Ike Bukuro Halloween, mm-hmm. it's on Halloween, and I decided it would be a good idea to start buying tickets in September. Because <laughs> <laughs> they weren't releasing information to which we could like actually plan mm. mm-hmm. our trip over to figure out what to do. Mm-hmm. And so I thought, I thought this was strange too because there were two tiers. There were mm-hmm. premium and standard. Mm-hmm. Wow. And what it said was um, with premium, the doors open for the change rooms. Mm-hmm. And this was the specific wording they used, right? Change rooms for um, 8.30 or 8 o'clock. Mm-hmm. 8.30, I believe. But the standard ones, the change rooms opened at 11. Mm-hmm. And I thought to myself, you know what? Oh, Yugiri's decision kind of makes sense because it's like, I don't need a change oh, room. He's blaming this on me. Look I, at that. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> It was like, oh yeah, I, I'm i already like 50%, 60% in my cosplay, wearing the clothes that I had. Mm-hmm. I just need to put on a tie, my my headgear and all that sort of thing, and I'm done, right? I could mm-hmm. actually go around the event. No, that's not true. The ticket to the change room is the ticket into the event. Oh, okay. okay. So what that meant was, I was coming with, I was going with Yugiri, carrying all her stuff, mm-hmm. all the bags, blah, blah, blah. I'm like... My role for the day was like the um, pack meal. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, I can probably just go in at the same time, tell them what kind of ticket I have. No. But what I had to do (laughs) was I got there at 8 Mm o'clock. We waited for 8.30, which was fine because the line was moving regularly. And I was like standing around walking around. But then I had to join the standard line, which opened at 11 or 11.30. And it was not moving. So I stood there, not even sitting, not even like slightly, yeah, like moving around. No, no, stood. I stood there for three hours. No way. Standing in my boots, just like vertical. And it's just like... <laughs> As you usually uh, stand, you know, vertical. Yeah. <laughs> we'll start to become diagonal after a while. Yep. yep. <laughs> I'm just like, please mm-hmm. get awesome. me out of here. Okay. Get me out of here. But yeah, that was the first mistake. Like... Having the the incorrect tickets, so mm-hmm. and you were just waiting. I mean, it's not like incorrect; it's more like you didn't know exactly. Mm. No, so yeah, so we were like total noobs in this because what I should have done because okay, well, to, okay. For, to be or, fair, for both of us, it was the last minute trip because we didn't think mm-hmm. we would be able to like right cause book it. I and also I was like, I'm not about to like book tickets when I have an exam mm, yeah. and I was like let's do this after my exam because this was like an all important exam it wasn't like a yeah like yeah yeah to fail. so I was like okay well think about this after that and then after that was too late so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and part of it too was I was thinking there's no way there's so many big events I was thinking on the US thing where like you know 
um, most of the big events are in summer and whatnot. Yeah. And the biggest cosplay event here would be in Nagoya. It's the World Cosplay Summit. Okay, I believe. Mm. Okay. And then there's a, a and then then also Tokyo has a bunch of big events like Tokyo Comic Con, mm -hmm. which is no, it's last week actually, and. Uh, um, I was about to say it's now. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking like, okay, so this EK Hollow, I've never heard of it. I've heard of, you know, these bigger ones. So like, this can't be that big, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then like, so therefore we have time for to get tickets and then also information. They, they're not friendly to new customers this per se. Okay. Like, they're clearly playing on their old crowd because they don't release it, any... Uh, That's yeah. right. Yeah, but how minute. you're talking about it, mm -hmm. it doesn't sound yeah. like they release any, like, Good amount of the information, information wasn't consistently released mm -hmm. on one platform. The website wasn't being updated every single time. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the process of booking specific tickets mm -hmm. was very difficult in that mm -hmm. our second fuck up uh -huh. with the hotel rooms. Yeah. So, oh, okay. <laughs> so this is the thing. is like Japan loves their packages and their sets. Yeah. So it's like not only do you have the ticket, you also... So you have like the photographer and cosplay tape, which is the most basic set up like for a small convention that's all they're gonna have mm -hmm. but they also have early birth which is what i got and then standard ticket which is like for late people i guess mm -hmm. and then they also have like premium packages which are like you get a hotel room and the hotel room is what we wanted actually or that's the best deal is you get a hotel room on site which means you that is your hotel room is your changing room you don't need to wait in line okay. like basically it's like pre-registration to the pre-registration mm. okay yeah, which, which is ironic because i think you still have to wait in line to like validate your ticket to get your ticket yeah <laughs> mm. but you can get dressed in your room and exactly. you don't have to like hang out with like other losers yeah. in line <laughs> and rolling at 8 30 means you roll at 8 30 instead of having to wait at, like, yeah, that's another thing too it's like i feel the parade tickets all the good stuff were taken by the mm. hotel people because they're right there they just have to take the elevator but that back. being said if you think about it mm -hmm. if the parade ticket started at eight o'clock People, even people who had a hotel room, they probably would have been lining up by 6 a.m. Right. So that's the thing. So we came early to be late. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. That's the thing. So the, like, all the, like, special stuff, event tickets. Oh, and by the way, Japanese conventions love their microtransactions as of well. Mm -hmm. and I feel that's more of a thing in Western conventions, too. I don't... No, I would say so. I would say so, I would say too. so too, yeah. No, yeah, you have to buy, like, you know, like, uh, like... Separate tickets. Anime, anime, anime people just love getting their wallets squeezed. <laughs> nice and tight. Uh huh. <laughs> yep. It's a kink. <laughs> um, so yeah, all the all those like special microtransaction tickets, like they start at eight a.m. That's the when the line starts. Then the line for like early bird cosplayers were was nine a.m. Then the regular one was like eleven a.m. or noon. Mm -hmm. Um, everyone was there at 6 a.m. apparently. Yeah. And wow. we rolled in at 8 a.m. for my early bird ticket. Mm -hmm. and, and to to the credit though, like, early bird rolls very quickly though. Yeah. It goes very quickly. That's true. And I hardly, like, once the line started moving, I didn't have to, like, stand a mm. lot. I just went straight to the changing room and I got a little slot. And how changing rooms work is basically... There's a room, and then they tape off little boxes or little rows, and then they squeeze all of us <laughs> in. It's like an election booth. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, like, you know, like, you, like, this is the distance we would have between two cosplayers. No And way. then you and your luggage, and you just have, like, work in your little box. And get oh, your my God, but yeah. the big cosplay, it must be a nightmare. Like, people it, who have it really big... a nightmare, mm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. And that's the thing. Some people, they bring in, like, full mirror stands. Like, they have, like, a mini, like, collapsible, like, makeup the like station, station. yeah wow and they're like their little robes and <laughs> they they're like they just like boom and then they're like getting their which is incredible done. i like mm -hmm. i have no idea how people still do it to this day that they can just bring like a mobile dressing room with them yeah it sounds no, the great thing is, and it's squeezed in a smaller luggage than mine because my luggage is too big everyone's coming in in like half the size of my luggage yeah i noticed they were like and i'm very small in, yeah. in general mm. And all and they have more stuff in it than me. And it feels like something out of a cartoon when like yeah yeah like the guy like opens like the case and like clicks a pedal and like all these things come up mm -hmm. yeah. So we did um, we did book it late. Uh, side note: the hotel room that we did manage to get while being convenient um, was not optimal in terms of its uh, placement and you know its 
me sleeping on the floor. <clears throat> no way. Drunk. I'm sorry. Guys. Yeah. Thank that, you for being a trooper. That shit was dusty. No. Like, my eyes were just all red through, and I'm like, I felt like, I felt like I was, like, decomposing into the, into the floorboards mm -hmm. with how, like, sneezy it was. But there was only one bed. You couldn't book, like, two more or what? Well, yeah, but, like, just because, like... So, that's the thing. Not only is the hotel block set up by the event mm -hmm. booked, fully booked, like, all the surrounding hotels mm. were also booked. Yeah. So, we were, like, it, that was the best I could do. Wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. Then we were in a, quote-unquote, business hotel. Mm-hmm. Wink, mm -hmm. wink. Which, honestly, I think... Well, like, I'm sure people got their business done. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I do. I mean, staying in, staying in a hotel where a lot of couples come in... <laughs> And like book stuff, it's like totally mm -hmm. fine. People are outside, blah blah blah. But mm -hmm. like coming through, was that the only? Well, well, those like the main issues that we had. We managed to book the second ticket last minute, the mm -hmm. second day. Yeah, yeah. And that line was horrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did we? I I okay. What did we do on the second day? I mm -hmm. totally forgot. Um, it was kind of a blur. Mostly shopping and walking around. That's right. Yeah, we yeah. were dead and then we went to uh -huh. Shibuya after. Wait, was that? No, that no, was the no, day before. Was the day, night before. The night before. Oh my, my God. goodness. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You're crazy for mm. that. Mm -hmm. So I guess we should talk about what happened on the the end of the first day. That we, mm. the interview. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, but first, um... Let's finish up the one more thing about the overall con thoughts. Mm -hmm. So, like, well, the atmosphere struck you as different. Oh yeah, it was really, it was really different. Because um, mm -hmm. we were talking. So, for context, like most conventions, like it's very nerdy, um, probably gearing like young adult. Yeah. Yeah. Um, college age kids. Yeah, but yeah. crowd, of single people. Like it's more yes. like yeah, ready to mingle that kind mm -hmm. of thing. Mm -hmm. But we saw a lot of families. There were a bunch of families. Oh, really? And I mean, like, if you went to a specific area, it was a park area, and it was mostly for families. But it or was like, like family family cosplay, or it family was just, cosplay. Yeah, okay. that's right. How many little Anyas did we see? <laughs> oh my god, it was so cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. And because I was in um, Pokoroso, Kurenanobuta. Yeah. When we got to like that park area. Because you can imagine, like, the main city, or the main town, the Sunshine City, was more for just, like, cosplays and people taking photos. Okay. But if you go to the park area, that's where people, like, set up picnics oh, and wow. stands and, like, sitting on the ground and all that. And all the kids are, like, pointing, like, oh, could I not about that? Could I not about that? Could I not about that? <laughs> and I lean to, like, yeah, you know, saying <laughs> hi to all these kids. But it was incredible. It was, like, a family event, a family group cosplay event. Mm -hmm. And this struck me so weird about Japan also, because my previous understanding was that Japan was a place for, if you engaged in your hobbies, you would sort of corner mm -hmm. yourself off from the rest of society and focus on those events. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But to see cosplay as such an accessible, like, universal thing, mm -hmm. that was, like, really, really weird for me. Like, mm -hmm. in, a, in a good way, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That sort of thing, yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Let's see. First, I was struck by the whole like cosplayers being closer to gender parity. Disclaimer: Everybody can cosplay, and everyone can be photographers. But you would see everyone can take a photo. <laughs> yeah, everyone can take a photo with permission. <laughs> I had like my photos. Okay, mm -hmm. but it wasn't creepy. Mm -hmm. um, it was just uh, he wanted a photo, but he was shy. <laughs> <laughs> what asked. do you want? What do you want? Oh, is this the same guy that we were talking about before? No, no, different guy. Uh, he was dressed up as Sailor Mercury. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. but he wanted to pose with me for whatever reason. Okay. And then he was being creepy about it. And then I was just like, do you want me to pose for it? But then, you know, other people are, who are actually asking, I have to help them first. Mm -hmm. And he's just like being left behind, has all these blurry photos of me. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, dude, just come over. Come over yeah. right now. Yep, yep. Anyways, but generally, the cosplay scene in the US, I would say, is more skewed towards like female cosplayers, woman cosplayers. And the dude photographers. <laughs> okay. And uh, Japan, still predominantly male photographer society. Mm. There were some female ones, the one I couldn't get. Mm. Ah, Ryoko-san. <laughs> <laughs> Ryoko-san, if you're listening, please. <laughs> <laughs> Let's collaborate. Let's collaborate. <laughs> I love your work. Um, Great lighting. Yes, excellent lighting. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's an extra ticket. <laughs> <laughs> by the way so natural purchase yeah 
Mm-hmm. Mm. So that's that's one of those like microtransactions you have to pay for your like professional photography okay. sessions. And but cosplayers, I feel there's it's more accepted to have like like male and female co- mm. cosplayers. Yes, the girls still do the slutty cosplays. That's normal. Guys do too, actually. But oh, and there's a lot of cross dressing on both ends. So mm-hmm. in U.S., I feel it's more normal for like. If a girl cosplays a guy, it's just cosplay, mm. and then it's a bigger deal if a guy like cosplays yeah, into yeah, girl yeah. territory, something like that. Is this some? Um, is this a thing in your home countries where people will cosplay as like a bit, or as like a oh yeah, let's go, let's go to this cosplay event, and we'll all go as maids. Ho ho ho! Is this mm. like a thing? I don't think so. Maybe because this like, is. It, yeah. I mean, it could happen, I guess. But I don't. I can't really remember right now any yeah. like group cosplays. I mean, friends will do things together, but not like big groups. Mm. So like um. So in so I guess in my country, in my city, uh, Sydney, <laughs> like, like people will go to these anime conventions and they'll be like, "Hey, are we gonna do something stupid? Like, are we gonna dress as something?" So because my my friend, um, E, uh, you know who you are. You're there. Like. <laughs> He, 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 last time he went, he went in his, like, maid outfit. Mm-hmm. It actually looked really good. And he went with, like, <laughs> oh. his whole gang of friends. As, like, a, oh, yeah, we're gonna do this and we're gonna go clubbing afterwards. Or we're gonna do that yeah. afterwards. Like, I thought it was common in, like, America, you know, other places. But, I mean, in maybe anime, it's just a Sydney thing. I mean, I guess it depends. Like, in, in anime conventions I've been to, like, you could maybe find one or two guys wearing a maid's made cosplay mm. but it's not that usual really yeah like yeah it's not yeah mm. yeah okay interesting mm. not in america i yeah i can't really think of any groups because people just aren't that coordinated really but um mm. maybe it's more like a dress-up mentality and like they want to go in something the, funny um the american cosplay scene might be not creative is not the right word yeah, okay. But for lack of a better word, like, they're more creative and they'll try to mix and match. There's a lot of, like, mixing genres. Part of it is, like, a budget issue. Like, mm-hmm. people want, like, people are like, I only, I don't have the cash to buy a new cosplay or make a new cosplay. But I have pieces of this. I'm going to be, like, mm-hmm. Attack on Titan and yeah. Slash My Little <laughs> Pony. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. And then you also have like lazy cosplays, like just wear the wig, or you know, like or be like, yeah, yeah. what this character yeah. in a different context, something like that. They like to do stuff like that. Or you have like you know, um, Pokemon Lolita dresses, okay, that kind of stuff. That can be really cute. So like people are like at least more willing to like explore different things like mm. that mm. and try different things. And Japan is more about like how how much you bring a character to life so this mm. 2d thing like how accurate are you yeah. Yeah. okay okay yeah okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. but yeah but... for me it's fragment like in here I, I noticed like also with the school like the university festival and everything like boys don't don't take it like they dress in like maid dresses or whatever or dresses yeah. in general and they don't give up like they don't give yeah. a fuck People... and, and that's nice that i, mm-hmm. I actually think that's really nice but i don't mm-hmm. think they would do it in Spain. Like, men would be like, oh my god, mm. a dress. People do take cosplay here very seriously. Mm. Like, I was expecting more like, more like, university students trying to have fun in their cosplay. Mm-hmm. And I didn't really get that vibe much mm. here. Because if this was Sydney, they'd be like, they'd definitely be like, oh hey, we're all going to go in the Kiki dresses. This is going to be great. And that Kiki did. group that we saw, they were all, okay, we saw a group of, Kiki cosplayers, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and these were like thirty-year-old, forty-year-old <laughs> dudes in like the bow, the 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 pantaloons, and like uh-huh. the dress. And I'm like, this is not like for shits and giggles. This is for shits and giggles, sure, but this is not like a. These are really serious shits mm, and giggles. Yeah, these are like these are like this is like an off like a like a group of workers <laughs> so slash friends who are like. We're gonna do this this time. Yeah, it's gonna be great. But also, God forbid, if your bow is wrong or you forgot your bow, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So like, mm-hmm. the, even for like maybe as a bit, they even take it seriously. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't, I really didn't get that vibe at all coming around into Ike, Ike Buko, Ike Halo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's one. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, but there were 
like it. I mean, people took their cosplay seriously, but there were some goofy uh, goofy cosplay. Goofy cosplays, <laughs> and goofy cosplays lands you where on TV. On TV. <laughs> oh. oh. So, mm-hmm. what was the name of the show again? Getsuyo Kara Yosh Yosh. No, I'm gonna mess it up. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up. Getsuyo Kara Yosh. We're so prepared, guys. <laughs> yeah, but Yoshfuku. No yeah. idea. But oh, how get, did you okay. end in that? Getsu Yokara Yorufukashi. Yorufukashi. Okay, so it's basically a late night, as in midnight, um, Monday night talk show. variety show, mm-hmm. talk show. Mm-hmm. And the hosts are, I want to say she's a drag queen. And uh, who's the dude? So, I do not so we're going to get canceled for not knowing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by the fans. Like, no! <laughs> so and essentially we end up on the, this show is like a variety show mm-hmm. and they it's like react content to like whatever's going on so you're oh, on yeah. the drag queen and the yeah uh, like little host. cameras yeah. like reacting to whatever they're filming yeah, yeah. I think that's the t- uh, Japanese TV they always have like a reaction corner mm-hmm. like in variety yeah, shows the they, they, re- they, they are behind, like, mm-hmm. reactions like YouTube with your reactions comes late to Japan <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean yeah. Like, Japan was here with the reactions on TV before, way before YouTube started. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but yeah, so how you ended up in that? So we were in the <laughs> we were in the park we were in the park trying to stand around and wait for photos. Mm-hmm. And how we how the how the event generally went is that people would point out to us, mm-hmm. well me, <laughs> and then ask for photos. Mm-hmm. So Kurana, Kurana no Buta. I met a few other Ghibli cosplayers and we got photos with the Ghibli cosplayers mm-hmm. and we were standing around just like seeing how things were and these two dudes one with the cameraman one with the camera the other with the mic they come out to us mm-hmm. and they asked me for a video I'm like and a photo I'm like oh okay you, the, you, yeah. you, at that moment did you realize it was for TV or not? I didn't realize it was for TV, but it said press, like, on the Okay, like, okay. Oh, I, the side well, maybe because I caught on first, because mm. you were trying to, like, remember yeah. your Japanese. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You were, so, and you were like, okay, where so is like, going on? I, we go through the video, we go through the, through the photo, and I thought that was it. Mm-hmm. But then, they keep talking to us. Uh-huh. And I'm like, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Yugiri, what, would you like a photo of her, and then, you know, you can talk to her? Mm-hmm. And then they start interviewing, and they start interviewing you, like on mm-hmm. like both of our. Well, it was more. Yeah, it was more like they were interviewing you, and I was the translator. <laughs> <laughs> and then, hey, have me Alucard your translator. Mm-hmm. What more do you want? Mm-hmm. Yeah, basically, you know? <laughs> that you hit it hard. Hirai Sensei, I'm so sorry, my Japanese has gone down the shitter. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to watch it. Oh yeah, all of our senseis, you don't need to watch it. Please, it's <laughs> okay. Please, no. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. So yeah, <laughs> you did your best. It's fine. So. Well, did you did you when they were interviewing interviewing you? Did you kind of realize it was for like a talk show or something? No, I didn't know what it was for. All I know is on TV. And then, okay, so um, my Japanese is shit too. Like <laughs> Japanese they, is shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're, we're yeah. <laughs> I li- when I was listening, um, they said like they were. Uh, they were like, you know, Monday something, something And I didn't know what that show was So I thought it was like, oh, Monday morning news And then from my experience It's like, if you need to get something out In the morning Your interviews and everything Everything has to be processed by The night mm. yeah. So that's why Sunday night, I was like waiting for like The permission oh, okay. slips to come down And be like, we're gonna fill, we're gonna we're gonna broadcast, we're gonna broadcast And nothing happened, so we thought like, oh So we gave up, we're like, okay, so they don't mm. want us mm. And then and also note of like our Japanese being shit. I think it was <laughs> it, it like the clips were unusable. So <laughs> yeah, for a moment we're like, I don't think yeah. they're gonna use that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, but later, like around November, then I get a phone call and they're like, so we want to confirm we can use the clip. Like, all right. Uh-huh. And then, and then since I got a text, so now we figured out what the show was about. Mm. And when I looked at that, we we're like. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's not what I thought. And the funny thing was like, it really was about you. So we're kind of bummed. It's like, why couldn't it be both of us? Yeah, or, yeah, like, of me? course. And then, but then like when I saw, like when I looked it up, I was like, mm. oh, thank God. Because <laughs> so when we were, when we were watching this and we were kind of told to get an idea, 
um, to, as a spoiler, they kind of used me as B-roll footage to like set up the event, like, you know, who, who's cosplaying, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But the interviews, they're not interviews of the high-end, high-level cosplay. Mm -hmm. They're interviews of the interesting stuff. Okay. Possibly mm -hmm. weird stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and that's essentially this idea of getting roasted on this React content oh, okay. by... okay. Okay, that's why... Hosts. Okay, okay. So, yeah, like... So, the... Right now in Japan's taking off, they like what they call the mundane cosplay, which is cosplaying, like, the most basic thing you can think of. And that's the funny part, mm. is, like... It's so basic. Like some people were, were literal like logos mm -hmm. of brands. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, some were like office plants. Um, some were like a skit of like a situation that happens in everyday life. Yeah, like a relative struggles, and they even printed out like oh my like, god, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. forms and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So like it's that kind of cosplay they were looking for. To be fair, I can see why they wouldn't use my material. I'm and the, maybe not too much of yours because we were actually like brands like nintendo would come for them for sure oh, yeah, 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 yeah i guess yeah. so okay mm -hmm. on a roast channel they're like wait excuse, <laughs> excuse me yeah. and i felt like they kind of used up that like that guy kokujin gaijin <clears throat> mm -hmm. <laughs> token yeah. as like there was this guy in dressed in a ken box mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. american dude dressed in the ken box <laughs> yeah. and also that pepsi guy that american <laughs> like all right all right okay but yeah it was like um it was essentially one of those shows and okay. i ended up on there for like 10 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. But I mean... I, but what were the questions like? The questions were like, why did you choose... There are so many... They really wanted to know why you... I, they were really hoping for some cool answer for why you picked your cosplay. So... And, and he keeps saying like, oh, because I'm fat. Oh, and, yeah. like, and I'm just like... And I was like, no, no, he's just trying to, you know... No, okay, so, so the answer was like, there are so many Studio Ghibli characters. Why did you choose Porco Rosso? Mm -hmm. Why did you choose Kurana Nabuta? And this is my legitimate answer. Okay. One, I like the movie. It's one of my favorite Ghibli movies. Um, Ghibli yeah, Otaku, by mm -hmm. the way. Um, but two, I'm like, I have to think of all the characters in Ghibli that are like large, fatter, mm. more filled out. And like, Polka was the perfect one. So mm -hmm. that's why I chose him. But I don't get why that's like a that's like a funny answer. I mean, it is a funny answer, but it's also a true answer. No, I, I don't feel like it's a funny answer. You no, just look for the one that you would suit better. Like, you look the one you would be more yeah. comfortable. No, so I think it's because it was an earnest answer, and they needed a funny answer, so they didn't use that part. It wasn't a funny answer? Yeah, I thought, <laughs> I thought it, was like, it was perfectly fine answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a normal answer, I guess. Or at least what I translated for you, because he was like, I'm fat, I'm fat. And I was like, he, he's... Among the Ghibli characters, he's looking for a character that would suit his body type. Wow. Yeah, that's what I told them. And this I... is this is what happens when you try to convey Australian sarcasm to uh -huh. non-Australian people. <laughs> yeah, Japanese and sarcasm don't mix. Oh, I mean, hey, hey, and all the other international people, I can, <laughs> I can say the same thing. Unless if you're British. <laughs> okay. Or, you know, you know, you got to leave Britain. Mm -hmm. But that sort of thing, yeah. Right. Mm. So, you got roasted by a drag queen in the middle of the night. Theoretically. Theoretically. Yeah, people, I mean, a drag queen and another host. And a rando. We don't and a rando. Uh -huh. The drag queen is the important part. Yeah. That's going to get us canceled. Yeah. Why? No, because I know, see, I know the drag queen is famous because I've seen her, like, elsewhere, and she must be the brand, like, she's mm. the, yeah, yeah. the brand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sure. both of them are famous. <laughs> oh, yeah, both of them are famous. Yeah, but which one is the one that catches your eye? The mm -hmm. drag queen. So mm -hmm. obviously it's her show. Fuck it. I'm sorry. We would like to apologize again for having no idea about the show. Mm -hmm. Me specifically. I no, mean, I they roasted you. I'm, they, gonna, yeah, I'm yeah. here longer. <laughs> <laughs> I have to worry about yeah. defamation. But it's great. <laughs> we got on TV. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I guess tick tick a tick that off your uh, yeah 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 your imaginary your, list. <laughs> your list. Um, mm -hmm. I am so happy for that. Like that was an amazing experience. The fact that we even got to go. The fact that we even got to go to Tokyo for like Ike Halo, Ike yeah, Buka, yeah. I never thought I'd go into cosplay. That's really so uh -huh. all. But mm -hmm. yeah, there you go. Um, before we keep going, do we want to roll some gacha? <laughs> all right. All right. Which it. one? I'll take purple. Purple. Okay. Let's go. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Oh. What? Wait, no, no. We gotta guess. We gotta guess what. Okay. We gotta guess what it is. There's fifty of them. Yeah, there's fifty. I of don't them. even know. Um, what's the theme? We got the sailor outfit I last have time. I a sailor one. 
I'm I mean, I, I, we wait, are already kind of seeing it. Oh my God. I, think uh, I, I can see it's a suit. It's a suit? I want to say it's a suit. I, I, don't, I don't know. It, for me, it looked like a sweater. You know those kind of sweaters that have the pattern? Mm, maybe but like I a don't jumpsuit know. kind of thing? I don't know. All right, let's see. Okay. So you're going for sweater? Yeah, sweater. like a sweater with a, pot, okay, a pattern or something. Suit. I'm going with like an exercise jumpsuit. Okay. Okay, and the answer is... What okay. the heck? Wait, is this the one... We wanted. <laughs> is uh, it? Like, it's so cute. Is this like a David Jones one? But he's like in black and white. You see, Wait, because of like the a... nose, and the nose is also great. It what looks like this? it's black and white. This is like a dress from the Roaring Twenties. <laughs> yeah, it, it feels like black and white. It might be. Yeah. So yeah, it's this one. It's this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You the... cute. Oh, I on. think it might be the one we want. This is some bougie ass shit. Oh yeah, yeah. Yay. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, let's go number for the two. next one. Yeah, okay. Can we make an informed decision? Oh, yeah, now we have, like... <laughs> now you have we? 50 options. Yeah, okay, Should take, we take a, take I don't a know guess which one. If, wait, wait, wait. No, yeah, over here. <laughs> so, uh, what do we think? Why are you feeling nice? I'm gonna go Valentine thing. I don't know if it's cheated looking at it a bit. But no, in this one, I don't really see nothing. I can't see anything. I think we yeah. got it wrong anyway. I, yeah, I mean, maybe... I don't know. I think it's... I have no idea. There's so many options. What is this? I want to go one of the red ones. I don't know which one. I, I was feeling more like a blue or dark one. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go with Valentine thing. Okay. Whatever the closest thing is up. Let's see what there's... Oh my god. Japanese packaging. I can't Wait. believe there were 50 no, options. 50 options for Hello Kitty. Ooh. Oh! Oh, it's a hippie flower girl. <laughs> all right, all right. That's nice. Okay. That's a good choice. I love that they look like sisters that had the complete opposite vibe. Yeah, like they're. <laughs> it's like. You agree, this one's you and this one's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the god sister and the one that's like hot just Barbie. It's like Golden Retriever and Black Cat. No, it's, Bar it's Barbenheimer. Oh, no, no. It's Barbenheimer. Barbenheimer. No. Who's that? No, we can't say that just yet. The movie comes out later in Japan. Is it coming out? It is coming Really? I believe it is. Oh my god. Well, yeah. Early Barbenheimer for Japan. Uh huh. Late for us. Late for Barbenheimer for mm. us. Oh my goodness. We start Barbenheimer now. <laughs> Japan. Prepare, boys. Alright. Mm -hmm. um, so, Shibuya. Was not happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, the mayor of Shibuya was like, I'm not having Shibuya Halloween. Mm. That whole weekend was closed. Mm. So, that's actually why we went to Ike Halo instead of Shibuya. Shibuya Shibuya. But we checked it out anyways. Mm. So, we went. Yeah, like and some it has people like, didn't get the memo. Yeah, like it has this like fame of like being like crazy mm. on Halloween. Like people just going so absolutely to, crazy. Yeah, to sum up how it was like, it was packed. Mm -hmm. We went to Shibuya to go eat dinner with a friend, mm -hmm. and the streets are completely full. Oh, wow! And one of the streets were cut off, so you couldn't go the other way, mm -hmm. and that messed up our plan. No, because that was the scramble, cro the famous crosswalk, mm -hmm. and they basically closed the, around that area because that's they were they're expecting all the party people to be. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they were trying to get rid of the party people that way, but it just caused more congestion. Mm -hmm. So we went in cosplay at this point. Yeah. We were just trying to go through. But how many cosplays did you see, like, coming around? Quite a few. Yeah. I mean, mostly foreigners who either didn't get a memo or tried to force it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Quite a few families, there were, actually. There were naughty Asians, though. <laughs> naughty Asians. <laughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lots Stuff of like that. Pikachus. Like... Lots of, like, lots of jumpsuits, a lot, lot of... Yeah, so that was, like, the casual cosplay. I yeah, suppose. I guess, because it, that feels like, at least from an outside perspective, Shibuya feels more like party more than cosplay. Right, right. So there's a lot of jumpsuits mm -hmm. and ears. Like, Shibuya very much felt like how a convention would feel in terms of the people cosplaying there. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. That okay. more, there was more like, oh yeah, just general ratchet, ratchet, ratchet cosplay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just stuff like that, really. Like, I mean, I, it was so packed, but I'm so glad I went. Mm -hmm. It kind of gave me the vibe that, oh yeah, this is where all the people who just like wanted to dress up went and stuff like that. And I don't think many people knew about Ikehalo, like in terms of like a general population. I feel like Ikehalo is, should be classified a big okay. monastery, a big festival among the cosplay community here. But mm. like said, there's no international presence. There's n maybe, yeah, maybe the, you're right, the 
general Japanese population isn't aware of it, but Ike Hollow is so ready to take over from Shibuya. So it feels more like a local thing where everyone that mm-hmm. usually goes knows how the drill is. Or even is like cross country, like cosplayers know. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Because mm-hmm. it felt it, it felt big. Okay. It felt big. Mm-hmm. It yeah. felt big. I mean, they they had they had a whole mall for us. Mm. Okay. And uh, some city. I think just based on how many foreigners knew about Ike Hollow, I don't think like that's like mm-hmm. a good gauge for like the general public. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not like maybe the audience is aiming for, right? Yeah, exactly. exactly. I mean, hey, <laughs> they didn't manage to keep us out somehow, so. Exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was like very much the way it went. <laughs> but if the mayor keeps this up in Shibuya, I suppose Ike Hollow will take over as the Halloween mm. center. Mm. Could be. Mm. Mm-hmm. So the question is, would you go do it again? Yeah, but I'm gonna buy the tickets earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get a hotel room. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna lock that down. Yep. And would you would you come along to to experience how it is? Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> Halloween, let's go. You gotta t- you gotta take my place and carry all the gear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was really good. Like, um, you were good entourage, actually. Yeah, I was the um. So like, in my case, my experience of cosplay is no, none. Yeah, same, same. Like, coming to Japan and meeting you, you get it. It's like mm-hmm. might as well give it a try, give it a shot. Mm-hmm. And yeah, like absolutely. Now, I want to go home, have some cosplay. Oh, nice. But just turn up with my friends, really, because, like, they're, they're already willing to do the rat shit stuff. Okay. I might as well go with them and just see how it is, because the last time I went to a cosplay convention, not, like, a cosplay, but, like, a convention, mm-hmm. I didn't go inside the convention. Mm-hmm. I brought the mahjong table out in front, and we were playing mahjong to promote mm-hmm. the university. <laughs> Actually, we didn't even have the banner working, so that we were just playing in front. like, a poker night with mahjong in the convention, <laughs> Australia. Yeah. Like, that would be perfect. Yeah. Like, like, but you here's the thing. You need a commentator. Like, you need to be like, all right, what's his hand? What <laughs> is... <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, it's, it was sick, though. Like, mm-hmm. and my friends just went in, and they went in with their made costumes and whatever thing. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you know what? Even, like, even if the cosplay doesn't fit and it's funny, still, might as well. Just have fun. As Taro would say, nothing wrong with cross-dressing. <laughs> nothing wrong with cross-dressing. Uh, what would your cosplay be? My cosplay be I I have no idea. <laughs> like I have no idea. Let's figure out. Think think. What would <laughs> would you do something sweaty or would you do something just funny? Do you think? I feel like the first time if I try for the first time I would try to look for something that's not too difficult. Like something I feel like it I can. It all starts that way. <laughs> yeah yeah basically <laughs> something I feel like it's not gonna like. Mm-hmm. That I'm gonna n- not gonna die wearing it. Something not that complicated. At, at least to try, and no, then I'll I'm see. I'll, I'll see how <laughs> things are going. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's right. Yeah. How about the photo booth that we had, or the photo booth that we booked to try to remember? <laughs> <laughs> In the um, it's day two. Was that day two? It was because remember I kept running back and forth uselessly because I didn't know what I was doing. No, that was day one. I think day one. Yeah. Wait, cause... which photo booth? The, not the photo booth, but like the photo studio. Oh, okay, okay. Two separate things. Okay, so day <laughs> one, I guess we should talk about photography in EK Hollow. Pro tip, so if you're just on the street and you're hoping to collaborate, so photographers have their station set up, and uh, from what people have told me, it seems like uh, photographers will come to you. You don't necessarily come to them, though I, it's okay to approach photographers. Okay. Uh-huh. Well, because Tanaka-san, he was telling me, he was like, some people just walk up to him and they're like, Can't, I want this photo. And he's like, yeah, sure. I mean, there's some, I'm sure there's dicks everywhere. I'm sure there's some dicks who are kind of like, I don't like you, Kaste, screw you. you know, oh, wow. like, I'm sure. Which is not Tanaka-san. Tanaka-san's great. He is a cinnamon roll. He's precious. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> when, we, when we saw him in the line for the Toyo one. No, oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. Um... Uh, so yeah, if you're on the street, it seems cosplayers, if you want to interact or you, you want photos taken, you want to collaborate, stay in place, mm-hmm. stay in place, camp somewhere. And then photographers will be like, Hey, can you come over here or something like that? Um, running around kind of makes you harder to catch or people think you need to go somewhere. That's right. Yes. That's why I've observed. So that's one way to do photos. But also, this event had a, their next to Animate, which has a little studio section. I think it belongs to Hako Stadium. But they have... Um, I'm sorry, what's Hako Stadium? Hako Stadium is basically a cosplay studio. 
company. Oh. So basically, they their buildings have like they're not just they they have standard studios, but they're also themed, mm -hmm. so that way you can match your cosplay. And you can like rent, you basically rent out the whole building, maybe hire a photographer, and then you just snap pictures. Now for this event, if you have your membership bag, you get discounted price to per, to use the studio. Okay. So it's like 500 yen an hour, something mm. like that, and uh, per person. And and then you can just use the studio for free. Okay. Mm. Not for free for 500 yen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but, yeah, yeah. And they, they it's have, almost nothing. That's really And they cheap. have like a whole like shelves of props that you can just use. Oh, that's so nice. Mm -hmm. And then you also have, uh, yeah, the themed, uh, the themed rooms. We went for that very... The Vic, not the Victorian one that was next door, but like the gothic the, one. The gothic one, yeah. and the, uh, and then there's the idol ones because that's very popular. Yeah, yeah, and so when we went there, mm -hmm. there were like a few people already, like a few groups already taking photos, mm -hmm. and you really were stuck with me and my camera, mm -hmm. and the uh, photography, <laughs> but it was, it was really interesting to try like mm -hmm. figure stuff out because I'm not a photographer. Mm -hmm. I'm very much not a photographer, <laughs> but. Mm -hmm. I do have like an eye of what I think is good or not. Like I, I'm, I'm willing to be no, critical. No, you have an image in your head. You just have to bring it on the screen. That's the problem. Yeah, mm. yeah. So it's like that. That was sort of like the thing that we were trying to deal with and negotiate. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing. If you have photographer friends mm -hmm. or people who can take, can you take photos? Oh, Maybe we took some. Yeah, that's yeah, right. I, yeah, yeah, I can team. take some. Mm, I okay. quite like them. I mean, nothing beats a professional, but... I of, of course, yeah. That's true. Obviously. Yeah. I, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> so that's one. But um, yeah, it was like super interesting to see. Um, You said there was one near... There, you said there was one in Toyama, right? Like the photo studio? Yeah, but it's not how... It's a... They're private ones. I do... Mm. So... There's a new one. It was open last year. It's basically two cosplay friends. They opened a studio and they're trying to do the theme stuff. Like so, they they got a house and then they're like making mm -hmm. little themed rooms. Mm. I just want to go kind of like to support small businesses. Okay, because yeah, they're really str so. You can tell they're. I wouldn't say they're maybe they're struggling, but they're still like floating. Yeah, they're yeah, still yeah. Floating. Mm. Maybe they're like breaking even. But mm. they're not profiting per se, because now they're being like, "This is a party room. You, this is a real con." Like they're like, "Just rent us." Rent yeah, us, okay. rent us. Yeah, small yeah. business is always hard, we should especially go. when you start. We should go. We should go. Yeah, <laughs> to be like that. So what happened on the second day again? Uh, oh, trying to line up. For the... I wanted the professional photographer. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that's the thing. So the industry side of Ike Hollow is I see they have their sponsors, the big name sponsors, but also. Was it Canon or Nikon? Bullshit. Uh oh. Canon. Canon. I think it's Canon. Okay, so I Canon. Think it's Nikon, actually. Are you serious? Okay, cosplay events are sponsored by camera companies. Well, mm -hmm. let's just do it for now. Mm -hmm. For now, and uh, the camera company had a booth, and then they let you basically rent their equipment, or, or actually the ticket. So what you're renting is time. So you get a ticket for a time with professional cosplayers. This time was I forgot her name actually, but she she was a tiny human being. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Mm -hmm. And uh, she has like her little stand, and then you get like thirty minutes with her, and then you can try any of the equipment to see the latest equipment to see how it goes, okay. or you can just photograph her because you're a huge fan. Yeah, okay, yeah. that kind of thing. So like there is uh, stuff for photographers being like. Go photograph your favorite cosplayers. Try out the latest camera equipment, stuff like that. And then on the other side, cosplayer side, there's like professional photographers, and you can also get a ticket for time with them. Okay. Mm. Get a session with them, and then they get get some nice photos and mm -hmm. stuff like mm. that. And which one were we going for? Rio goes on. <laughs> <laughs> and then we didn't get it. We didn't get it. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah. But she's hard to get though. Yeah. Okay. Because I think we were just exhausted by that point. Right. Mm. The time, so we just. But see, now we know better because now, like, I'm starting to understand how this works. Yeah, of course. Like the first time, it's always gonna be like a chaos more than anything, mm -hmm. trying to figure out how things work. So yeah, we were like, "This is a shit show." Yeah. This is such a huge waste of money. Yeah. Very yeah. educational waste of money, but yeah. Still. <laughs> Yeah, oh my goodness. Also, Don May fans, I think you'll like conventions here. Because <laughs> there is so, like right now, 
like the dame stuff because Japan loves their anime. So I know like Western fandom for like stuff like that. Okay. They want the live action, like they want the drama with the actors okay, and okay. their favorite K-pop idols in the world, you know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, but Japan, they're happy with the anime. The anime is already out mm-hmm. for these series, and the uh, and they're just eating it up. And okay. Genshin is popular, so there's like kind of a Chinese invasion, but it's. Much stronger. I feel like it, influence. Yeah. <laughs> so well, and that's the thing in the U.S. It's almost like a Chinese invasion. It's like suddenly everyone likes Han culture, you yeah. know. And then in Japan, like it's always kind of been there, mm. you know. Um, because it's always been in the background. Yeah, it's been there for hundreds of years. Now it's just <laughs> updated. That's it. Yeah. Mm. And uh, so when I was in the lawn, another impression I had, at least on the lawn side of Ikehalo, was like I was like, wow, there's so many like. Chinesey characters. So mm-hmm. not only do we have the dame, we had the Genshin stuff. And what struck me was like it was really funny. So we have, and the fans will know, we have Hua Chen, who's like a ghost king. That's okay. all you need to know about okay. him. Then his boyfriend, who's a god, and then um, Mo Dao Zhu is Ma Dao Zhoushi, which is uh, two. They're like cultivators, but they can deal with dead people and undead. And then all the Genshin cosplayers. Were all Kyoshi, so they were all like Chinese zombies. Okay. So, it, what it looked like to me was like, okay, you have like our like gay male leads uh, that are particularly good at handling undead things, and then their horde of undead. <laughs> like it was like so much Chinese undead. I like I couldn't even <laughs> even like process it. I was like, wow, there's so much Chinese. Chinese undead, and then here I am as Alucard, as a European undead. There was a da- a foreign guy who was also Dante. Mm. Oh no, yeah, I remember seeing. Yeah, it. yeah. So like Western undead, no one gave a shit about. Hey, who are you? Okay. Go away. And but they're like, but that Chinese undead, mm, that's hot stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. It's a demand. It's in vogue. It's in vogue. And mm. then. And then that was when I regretted not bring my Lan Wanji cosplay. Mm. I totally picked around. I was just like, well... See, that's like when you look with the U.S. brain. It's because I was just like, it's not that popular, right? Because, like, all the um the Western IPs, they really didn't generate They're much... never updated. Yeah. Like, there's no, like, new games mm. of Castlevania as far as I'm concerned. And there wasn't really much demand from the photographers, I believe. No, they weren't into that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, even when I look at some photographers' Twitters or some cosplayers, like, there's some, like, guy cosplayers and photographers, they'll, they'll put their title, their title, they're like, I do BL, I do Korean BL, <laughs> Chinese BL, Japanese BL, whatever you want. They're like, BL is fine, BL is fine, BL, I promise. Yeah, they're like, I am a BL, like, a safe photographer, hire me! <laughs> book me, book me! <laughs> and then, like, some of the cosplayers, like, I'll do BL, like, like ladies. If you want me to kiss a boy, I'll do it for you. Oh <laughs> and then the girl cosplayers in Japan, they'll be like, Seijin, like, they'll be like, I'm an adult, I'm 20 years old, I just turned to, like, they're like, I'm, it always starts like, adult cosplayer, like, why do we need to specify that? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's the marketing there. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's an interesting thought that cosplay is like, even though when you're 18 and you graduate high school, mm-hmm. you can't like you can't really go into full swing in your co- with your cosplay mm-hmm. career until you're 20. Right. So it's like, yeah, all right, okay, I see how. It right, because they have like different levels of adulthood. Now mm-hmm. it's like 18, and you get some rights. 19, you get some rights, and then 20, you get some rights, and mm-hmm. finally it's complete. Yeah. So yeah, so you have a lot of people like I'm an adult. I'm not underage, but it can only go so far in these festivals because at the changing room they do modesty checks okay we've talked about in the first mukbang but um where american events care more about drinking drugs and weapons so like if you walk in they do check your prop like there's like really strict prop guidelines so that way you, it can't be turned into a weapon okay and drinking guy like you know you can't yeah. bring your own okay. drinks yeah. and stuff okay. like that makes sense and uh, uh so like u.s cares more about that but you can slut it up as well. Like, I guess you can wear pasties, it's cool. Mm. And in Japan, they care more about modesty mm-hmm. and the, like being covered up. Because it is a family event, actually, that's right. a good okay. point. Yeah. But Which like, is ironic, because I think the photography leans a lot more to the slutty side, like if you're talking about specific one-on-one. They do, so that's why, at least, I don't know about the guys changing room, because that's where you're at, but the girls <laughs> changing room, they were flipping skirts. Or like, well, what they do is, they'll ask you, like, ma'am, can you please like, like lift your skirt? We need to make sure you have 
like underwear on and which means there was there's a president of people not wearing underwear in these events oh, wow. yeah so they'll try like like you know like you got your brown panties you may go you got brown pants you may go i mean could you just take it off like one like once you finish with the yeah sentence? yeah basically you could i you guess can, i mean you can try that next time see what happens i see yeah, yeah. I mean, next stop, <laughs> next stop, Kiki. And you're like, oh, actually, don't do Kiki. That's, yeah, that, 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 that would no, punish. No, no, no. That would punish my image. The, the other Kiki cosplayers will come for you. <laughs> <laughs> like there were like little, like little, like toddler Kikis, and there were like grown man Kikis. Yeah, grown men Kikis. I think they would come after me regardless. They be like <laughs> all of them. Mm. The <laughs> witches brigade. <laughs> witches brigade. Uh, but uh. like. Stuff but like that. They care more about that, but props are that you can go as big as you want. As long as you're not like swinging it around, you know. And you can bring your own drinks and water bottles. Oh. I would say the food drink situation, Japanese cons are superior. There's more food trucks or like options right. for food yeah. and drink. I'd yeah. say so. Stay yeah. hydrated, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I were to think about Ikehalo in a Western context, mm. if it were held in Sydney, there'd be a lot more drunk people. Yeah, I can, no, th this is the thing. That's why U.S. conventions, there are, like, no alcohol or no, like, weird water bottles because we don't know what's in there. Mm -hmm. There will be, like, areas where you can drink or, you know, after dark cosplay, all that stuff. Yep, yep, yep. They do section it off like that. But in Japan, it's, like, everyone's allowed. Mm. Like said, there are slutty cosplays, but they do make sure, like, it's slutty and not, like, you're not flashing anybody. Yeah, yeah. And whatnot. I mean... Grandma panties. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's part of the character. It's fine. No, Unless some... you're like cosplaying Iki Tosen or something. No, because there's some... Oh, goodness. <laughs> That's ancient. I'm Is it really? Me. 2010s? Mm. Oh my god, no. Mm. Anyways, some cosplayers, they wanted to do, be like... They wanted to do the slutty cosplay, but they're kind of shy or mm. whatnot. So then you... They would layer on like extra bras, so they're hoping like it's like skin colored mm, enough mm, mm, mm. where you can't tell. Yeah, and like some people's uh blending was better than others. Mm. Okay, just say. okay, honestly, yeah. I'm not surprised I didn't see many, if any, kill a kill or studio trigger cosplays. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. Well, the nudist people would for sure be knocked off, yeah, the changing room, but other kill a kill. Yeah, we did not see any. It was just the Chinese mm. zombie horde. Mm. That's also another one that we saw a lot of more contemporary IPs. Yes. It was either contemporary or um, iconic ones. Yeah, I guess. It's a contemporary or Ghibli. It's basically it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Mm. like dra we saw a little bit of Dragon Ball. Mm. We saw... You know, there was weird cosplay, but they were all contemporary IPs like Omnioji. Mm. Oh, yeah. And old geezer cosplay or fatherly grandfatherly cosplay is uh, they they like the court historical stuff mm, yeah. so i saw like uh Heian era mm -hmm. noblemen yeah. wear so some people are like genji slash omnioji like abino seime or like the emperor himself okay. and then there was also chinese court people so there was like this ming dynasty guy there's a lot of the three kingdoms yeah mm. and also right now the most recent kingdom that's famous Dynasty, Qing Dynasty, what was it? Kingdom, okay, the the anime manga mm -hmm. called Kingdom. Mm -hmm. But it's the first dynasty in China. Mm -hmm. So I saw a lot of cosplays of that. Mm -hmm. And and it's really funny because old geezers tend to congregate. <laughs> and then they're like, we're the respectable ones. We're not the ones cosplaying Hatsune Miku. Oh, God. <laughs> mm -hmm. So like they sort of congregate. So you have like these grandpas in their court attire, <laughs> like Chinese or Japanese court attire, and they're just hanging out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But they, yeah, like old man cost, but like the respectable ones, they perf. I think they do historical to keep themselves respectable. Mm, yeah. Because <laughs> once you're in Hatsune Miku, there's, there's no telling back. No yeah. Back. Yeah. The pig, the the pigtails, mm -hmm. not pigtails. The. Yeah. The, the, the pigtail. Yeah. Because the, the, pig... the one you saw, he he lost his wig. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, did he? Oh, he lost his wig, but he should have the pigtails. Oh, oh yeah. That's why he wound up on the roast. Oh, that's right. If he yeah. had the wig, he probably wouldn't. Because like, oh, he looks normal. But then he like... N normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh. I don't know. But that was it was a really good experience. I really liked it a lot. Mm -hmm. um, would I come back to do it again? Would I, re would I visit Japan again to try go to a cosplay <laughs> event? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> like... 
I should have actually messaged my friend. She was in the she was in Tokyo, but you know. Are was, you serious? Yeah, but she was like, um, oh, you know what? I should have, but I was too dead at that time. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Who cares? I mean, it was all, because it was last minute. We did not plan that. Yeah. Exactly. Well, so. Yeah. It could have been better, but now we know it it's will our, be better next time. Yeah. It's yeah ironic. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It's ironic because she's like really into Ghibli too. From 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 men. Yeah. <laughs> She got this here on the road. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Is there anything else that came to mind when it came to, like, that Tokyo trip? Oh. Besides us being also dead. Oh, the shops, though. The shops? Like, the cosplay shops. I mean, there's a lot of them. Mm-hmm. Some specialize in wigs and the makeup and mm. then and body stuff. So why do you say Ikebukuro is, like, Fujoshi Road of a... No, it is the Otome Road. Yeah, Otome Road. Like, what makes it Otome Road over Akihabara? Oh, no, that that's because of all the BL. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The joke is Akihabara is uh, for boys, and then Ikebukuro is Akihabara for girls. Mm-hmm. But technically, it's actually because Akihabara is where all the industry... So, it's electric town, right? Yep. So, that's where all the industry is, like, the anime companies and whatnot. So, if you want, like, the industry or the technical stuff, it's better to go there. And then, mm. obviously, the figurines the fan stuff start popping up around it because i mean if the artist is working there you know right 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 the industries are working there why not and ikebukuro i do not know why otome road exists where it does yeah there's just like a lot of like doujin shops and secondhand mm-hmm. shops and mm. uh for a lot of bl but other anime too mm. and i guess that and then, see, that's the thing. I don't know if the Butler Cafes came before or after. Mm. Oh, so I don't see. know if it's the Butler Cafes created Fujo. She were, like, the Butler Cafes <laughs> attracted the woman who also won the BL. And then so the BL came in and then we have Fujo. She, or Otome Road, I should say Otome mm. uh, Or is it because all oh, the Fujoshi came... And took over, and then the Butler Cafes are like, there's our market, so let's move in. <laughs> I, so I, I don't know which way. Mm. But... Right now, its current conception is there are butler cafes, especially the very the very famous Swallowtail is based there. Oh, in Ikebukuro. we just never ate there because we were too dead. Okay, and also see. couldn't need a reservation. Right, right, stuff. right. Of course. And um, I've met the head butler in Texas. What? The yeah. Fuck? <laughs> what are they doing in Texas? Promoting their oh, store. Oh my god. Yeah, I see. <laughs> because Texas has a huge Lolita. What? Um, oh, wow. Like subculture or mm, like mm, Lolita mm. fashion is very popular, so they're like. Uh, In Texas? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, why not? Mm-hmm. Why? Yeah, like your Texan Lolita? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeehaw. <laughs> Yeehaw, motherfucker. Yeah. Okay. And then, then there's all the doujin shops, which is just filled to in the Texas? premise. Texas? No, no. I'm not <laughs> it's idiot. still in Texas. The stars oh. at night stars are big night. and bright. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And then the cosplay shops there, too. Because traditionally, cosplay probably started with women, but in Japan, men are like, I want to do that, too. Yeah. This is really cool, because I was at a cosplay show like they had like the costumes mm-hmm. and I was just flipping through and then there were also like guy cosplayers who were just like oh this is cool like like two dudes in the cosplay show <laughs> be kissing but <laughs> <laughs> okay, we do costumes but they're not gay mm, they're just roommates they're just roommates <laughs> oh, yeah. on their profile it does say something like we do BL we do BL <laughs> yeah, on request yeah, on request not on our own you know yeah, like, yeah. We, we are respectable we do BL no homo no homo <laughs> uh... mm-hmm. and then they'll have a tick off like which countries BLs they do <laughs> <laughs> specific yes, country BL. yeah and I was just like is there a difference? <laughs> yeah, 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 like, what's the difference? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, we're connoisseurs, we know what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Any other topics that we have? I think that mm-hmm. that's like the bulk of our Tokyo trip. Yeah, that's the relevant part. Mm-hmm. <sighs> so do you want to wrap or? Yeah. Yeah. We can wrap up. Do you wanna do you wanna give it like an outro? Do, do you wanna... <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of that now because speaking of poor planning, we did not plan this. Well. <laughs> Maybe that's the shame to move. Like yeah. not planning it well. Right. Yeah. Let it to... let it rip. Let, let it, it rip. rip. Yeah. Let it rip. Do not. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I don't think we've had much many photos come out of Ikebukuro 
I think it was a great experience to have. Oh, but I love the photos you got me. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's... No, I totally checked out that I took photos. <laughs> <laughs> so how was it like being a photographer? <laughs> You're like, uh, what? <laughs> my hands are so bad. Like, I really have bad motor control of my hands. <laughs> and my senses. Mm-hmm. Like, if I could get into photography, sure. But for me... Getting into photography is like getting into p- like playing the piano. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's a skill that I have to exercise so much harder. And the more I exercise it, the, f- the faster I get tired. And that's basically mm-hmm. it. But I guess that's with any hobby you take seriously. Like if you want to improve and make seriously like good things, of yeah. course you, mm-hmm. you're going to tire yourself because you're trying hard. Yeah. If oh, you yeah. want to do it, I'll teach you. Oh. But like, I mean, <laughs> that well, is something more like we can it. just have fun. We can just walk around and hang out, you know. Mm. You pick. But yeah, those studios are nice though. Like how they set up. I was just like, you walk in, and I'm like, this is picture perfect. Like I was looking in the mirror because there was a mirror thing. Like, wow, this is exactly like from the game art. Yes. Oh my god. Kojima, she draws like, she did that like really pretty boy gothic aesthetic. Mm-hmm. I just walk in like, wow, I look like I just came out of her painting. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll come back in three years and I'll be like a full mess of photographer, blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. I'll have my own <laughs> and then it's gonna like be impossible to book you. Yeah. Uh... Ejo this. <laughs> 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 uh, 